welcome back to Wicked Wands Tarot. My name is Carmen, and today we're going to do a reading for Cancer. Let's call in spirit with some enchantment. Hmm. There may be some little like surprise, or even like just like a nice little note or communication you get from somebody. But um, happy Halloween, Cancer! I'm doing another costume reading for you guys today. This is my Renaissance Festival look, so thought I would put that on for you guys. I think we're going to start today... Hmm. We'll go with the Energy Oracle. Alright, what do we have for Cancer? Ooh, I like that. We have Appreciation and door to personal healing and happiness. Cancer, these are great cards to start your reading off with. It sounds like we've got somebody who has figured out how to incorporate gratitude into their life. Even if they have some struggles or betrayals or issues, there's still this commitment to, if I can keep my thoughts positive, that's what helps me continually heal and get back to happiness even in difficult times, right? Ooh. Interesting. So, somebody's also feeling much more capable or empowered than they have in the past. It feels to me, because we have number 53 and number 35, somebody's even feeling like younger than they ever have before. There's like a strength coming from an authenticity, I think also related to this um, positivity. But with Magician and the Mirror, we have somebody who is going through a pretty significant period in their life, and they're going to be able to make a positive move in their life. Oops. All right, we're going to continue. Hmm with the Masonic Tarot. So we have strength. Yeah, I think somebody is drawing a lot of strength from taking the time to appreciate the good things in their life and not continually stressing over what they want to change. There's a lot of healing going on with the Three of Swords in the reverse, tying in really nicely with that door to personal healing and happiness. So somebody could be spending more time doing things that really help them transmute the pain that they feel. So you may be a fellow artist. Or, again, there might be somebody who has like a renewed commitment to therapy. We have somebody who has a sense of hope. Even though there's been a situation that's been really unbalanced, it feels like whoever I'm reading for, you've dealt with somebody who was very take, take, take. And you're having a change in perspective that is helping you avoid people like that, but also not let it like completely destroy your hope for other things in life, right? Good for you. That takes a lot. So now we have the Three of Mallets in the reverse, which would be like the uh, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, with the first chakra coming out and being clarified by the Three of Mallets or Three of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel like somebody has had to do a lot on their own. People may even have been a little bit shocked at how much you were able to accomplish all on your own, but you've been able to learn a lot about yourself and feel more confident about speaking up for yourself, probably even others as well, as a result of having to do so much on your own. We have the Knave of Mallets or Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and this is telling me that we've also got a situation in terms of like I can get through bad news because I know who I am and I know how I can get back up, you know, after I've fallen down, right? I know I'm resilient, so therefore I'm more powerful all the time. All right. 
Let's see what else do we have for King Sophie? If this is resonating for you, go ahead and give me a like or a subscribe. We're going to continue with the Meta Muse. Wow. We have strength in the reverse, clarifying strength in the upright. And Ace of Swords in the reverse. It feels to me like whoever I'm reading for, you have had to be strong in the face of weakness or manipulation. And you've also had to stay committed to your own truth, even when people were trying to gaslight you. I feel like I'm reading for somebody who's a pro at seeing through people's attempts to gaslight. Ah, the King of Wands. This is clarifying the Nine of Swords in the reverse, which is all about hope, right? And the King of Wands can also be about taking action, having passion, motivation. Um, this is a warrior, right? Somebody who is ready to fight. And so somebody I feel like is more motivated than before, maybe more inspired. And they're making changes that are bringing them into a more peaceful period of their lifetime. So if that's you, I'm excited for you. And this is going to lead to more healing, but for some of you, this could also have something to do with gaining some notoriety or fame for what you do. Um, because you don't need anybody else, right? Like you could be somebody who puts together their own um, social media platform, gains fame that way, or you get recognition for doing something kind of like out of this world. But what I do see here is now that you've made it through such a difficult period in your life, there is like justice coming in and you might have people coming clean to you or apologizing. But I think most of all what I see is people aren't going to be able to fool you. Your justice after being through a lot of betrayals is that you see right through people now. They can't fucking touch you. They can't ruin your day because you see it coming a mile away. I didn't plan to rhyme that shit, you guys, but it was pretty cool, right? All right, we're going to continue. I think this is called the Beginner Tarot. It's really cool. It's got, like, a little phrase at the bottom of the image to help solidify the meaning of the card. So it's really good for people that are trying to learn how to read tarot. I'm not getting paid for that if anyone asks. I'm not. Right. So we have the King of Swords and the Ten of Cups crossing it. Interesting. So I feel like we have a masculine energy here who felt a little bit um, fearful or <laughs> terrified to be honest about a home situation or a love situation. For somebody, I mean, this could be somebody who needed to leave a relationship but was struggling to do so. Yeah, four of wands in the reverse. I think I'm reading for somebody who got the cojones to speak up in a relationship that was not healthy for them and had led to stagnation. This may have been a rather hurried decision. Like one day, like now I know what I need to do. This is this is what I need to do to be happy. And with the Four of Swords clarifying the Six of Swords, I do see that either recently or coming up here, you've had uh, an opportunity to get some time alone, maybe a vacation or a staycation, and it's enabled you to really kind of process some of those feelings or thoughts that maybe you had to kind of like delay, right? Then we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse again. Yeah, part of your healing is that you don't have to worry about lies like you used to. You're less gullible. You're much more perceptive. And as a result, you don't have a willingness or a desire to invest, even if you've known someone for a very long time, in something that is not 
in your best interest, something that doesn't contribute to your being able to move forward in your life. All right, we're going to continue with the everyday tarot. Wow, we have the Six of Cups coming out again. So there could be a lot of change, Cancer, pertaining to the people that you've known a long time. This could also just be clarifying that this King of Swords, this um, person who is very honest and perhaps a little bit cautious, has found strength through the adversity that they faced. And with the sun in the reverse, even if it was a period of depression or a lack of happiness, this person has found a way to persevere. This could also signify, because it's clarifying the Ten of Cups, an unhappy home. This is crazy. We have another one of those, like, in the upright and then clarified by the reverse. The Four of Wands in the upright clarifying the Four of Wands in the reverse. The strength was the other one that did that, by the way. And then we had Seven of Swords in the reverse both times. Another King of Wands, you guys. Crazy. You have a lot of duplicates. So we could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is somebody who's been healed and has a new perspective on life. I'm not going to prioritize the same things. I want to make sure that I am living authentically. And I feel like it's going to blossom for this person. It's going to be a beautiful existence because they are doing what they want and making themselves happy. Ooh. And this could lead to a new marriage because we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is like the wifey card. So there could be somebody that this person didn't invest in fully that they want to now invest in fully. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading and that you have a lovely rest of your day. Happy Halloween.